What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got an important announcement. I'm doing a giveaway. If you want to win a free box of Anna bars, you get to choose the flavor. Then you got to do a few easy things to be entered. You got to make sure you hit the thumbs up button on this video. You got to be subscribed to the channel and you got to leave a comment down below on a flavor of Anna bars you would like to see us make. I will be choosing one lucky winner at random. I will announce it in a couple videos and I'll announce it on my social media. So make sure you're following me. If this goes good, it gets good reception. I'll start doing a giveaway in every freaking video. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Enter the giveaway and let's get this show started. Growing up for me in my small town, one of my favorite places to go to eat was the local Chinese buffet. You could get General So's chicken, sweet and sour chicken. They had ice cream that was okay. But one of my favorite things was the beef and broccoli. Oh my God. And in this video, we're going to take that dish. We're going to make it anabolic and so full of flavor that if you take the time to make this and eat this, you will literally think that you just ordered it from a Chinese takeout. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic sesame style beef and broccoli. Not only does this recipe actually make broccoli taste good, the special sauce that we make will have you thinking you literally got this from your local restaurant. If you've been wanting to go to your local Chinese buffet, but you don't like the idea of them having to knock a wall out just to get you out of there when you're done, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. Being on a diet, building muscle, losing weight doesn't mean that you got to give up your favorites. All it means you got to do is get in your own kitchen and follow some simple recipes. And if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook in your pocket, this whole process is much easier. It's got every recipe on this channel broken down, simple step-by-step -step instructions, the macros, the calories, everything you need to succeed. And man, you get it one time. Every time I drop a video, it gets updated and all the new recipes are added. Hit that link down below. You won't regret it. All right. If you guys are ready to get your epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it. Yeah. We are trying to make this recipe as authentic as possible, so we will be using some fresh ginger and garlic. If you've never used either one of these before, don't be intimidated, it's super easy. So starting with the ginger, we don't need much to add a ton of flavor. So what I'll do is just cut a little piece off right here, and then all I'm gonna do is go around the outside and remove some of this skin. Some people don't mind a little skin in their food, and hey, I'm not judging you if you do. But personally, I'm a fan of removing the skin and wearing it as a suit later. And once it's de-skinned, all I wanna do is go in here and chop it up into tiny little pieces. I'm working on my knife skills, folks. Don't judge. And once we got our ginger nice and minced up, I'm just going to go in and weigh out about two grams in my food scale. I will also throw a recipe card up on the screen right here so you know all the exact measurements. And now we get our garlic ready. This is a garlic bulb, I think the right word, a pod. I'm not sure, but you look at it, you can kind of see what she is. I'm just going to take and break off one of these. And then to make this super easy, I'll be using a garlic press. You can get these super cheap on Amazon. All we do is open it up, stick the garlic bulb down in there. And then over top of our bowl, I'm just going to squeeze it. And and boom, look at that fresh garlic right down in there. So our ginger and garlic is ready to go. Now let's move on to the star of the show. And what we have here is flank steak. This is one of the leanest cuts of steak you can buy. What I want to do is take this and cut it into strips. I'm going to weigh this out to 224 grams. And then once we're weighed out, I'll go in and take some of my longer strips and reduce the size a little bit. And if there's any of them that seem a little thick, you can always just cut them right down the middle, cut them cook a little quicker. And boom, that looks pretty good to me. Now, what we want to do with this steak is cook it fast and quick. Skillet set to high heat. We're going to hit it with nonstick. Then I'm going to toss my steak in and give it an even sear on both sides. And once our steak has a nice sear on it, what I'm going to do is just set this pan off to the side. Let these sit in here. It'll keep them warm while we get the rest of this recipe together. And when it comes to the broccoli portion of this recipe, we're going to take a little shortcut. I'm going to use a steam bag version of broccoli. And we do this for a couple reasons. One, it drastically cuts down on time. And two, when you steam it, the broccoli becomes very soft, very easy to eat. I don't like crunchy broccoli. So trust me on this. If you're not a fan of broccoli, do it this way with this recipe, and you're not even going to notice that it's broccoli. And this part's easy because it just goes in the microwave for about about five minutes. Now, when it comes to making that sweet Asian inspired sticky sauce, what we have to do is grab a measuring cup or small bowl and start by weighing out 45 grams of low sodium soy sauce. We follow this up with 21 grams of sugar free honey. If you can't find this, regular honey has about the same macros, so I wouldn't sweat it too much. We're also gonna add five grams of a zero calorie sweetener, gonna give us that sugar flavor without those sugar calories. And then the last thing we add is 120 grams of low sodium chicken broth. Now, I know what you're 
thinking. We're making beef, why not use beef broth? And let me tell you, I've tried both ways, and I really think the chicken broth flavor is better. But feel free to use beef broth if you want. And then once everything's in here, I'm just gonna go in and stir everything together until it's all fully incorporated. And then the last thing we gotta do to make sure our sauce comes out perfect is grab a little bit of cornstarch, place about 20 grams of water in a small bowl, and then we're gonna weigh out five grams and put it right down in here. If you've never used cornstarch before, this is what thickens up your sauces, makes them less watery, more sticky. Can't skip this step. And once this is in here, we'll just give it a quick mix, let it incorporate with our water. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we got all of our ingredients ready to go. Now it's time to make the magic happen. And here we go. This is gonna come together quick. Start off a little bit of nonstick, and we'll begin by sauteing our garlic and ginger until it softens. Then once it's softened, we'll add in our sauce mixture, and we'll follow that up with our broccoli. And then once the broccoli's in here, we're gonna stir it around and make sure all of our pieces get fully coated in our sauce. And then once all the broccoli's coated, we're gonna add our water and cornstarch. Then we're just gonna go in and stir everything together. And then once the cornstarch is fully incorporated, we're just gonna bring this to a boil. And once it starts bubbling, we're just gonna keep stirring it. And after about three three to five minutes, you're gonna watch that sauce really start to thicken up. Cause right now it seems a little watery, but trust me, crank that heat up, watch it start bubbling and you're gonna see the magic start to happen. All right, and check it out. A few minutes passes by and look what happened to that sauce. It becomes sticky, it becomes thick, just how we want it. And at this point, all we gotta do, add our seared flank steak right down in here, give everything one final stir, let that meat get coated in our sauce, and boom, ladies and gentlemen, now we serve. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, would you take a look at what we just created? We have delicious seared flank steak. We got our steamed broccoli that's been coated completely with our sticky Asian inspired sauce. Sprinkled some sesame seeds on top and boy, let me tell you, if you take the time and you make this at home, I guarantee it'll be just as good, if not better than takeout, except it'll have half the calories and even more protein. If you guys have made it this far into the video, please smash that thumbs up button, comment your anabar flavor down below, subscribe, all that good stuff to be entered into the giveaway. And before this gets cold, guys, I think it's time. Pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. You have no idea how hungry I am right now and how excited I am to eat this. But first, we still got some boxes that aren't out of stock yet. We got the Cinnamon Toast Swirl and we got the PB&J available, finalbosswomers.com. Could RGF 10 saves you 10% on the best tasting protein bar on the market. Don't forget about that giveaway either. Comment them flavors down below, man. Let's get straight to it. Grab me a little piece of beef, a little bit of that broccoli, and there we go. Looks like the perfect first bite to me. Three, two, one, let go. I swear on everything that if I delivered this to your house in a to-go box with your favorite Asian style restaurant label on the front of it, you would have no idea that this was the healthier, better version. You'd have no idea. Normally in this dish, they're loading it down with oils. They're using like real sugar. They're doing things like that to create that sweet sauce. But I'm telling you, the sauce we made is just as good. And you guys know if you watch this channel, I don't even eat broccoli like that. I really don't. But when it's steamed and it's soft and it's literally falling apart and it's coated in that sweet sauce, actually pretty dang good. You can taste the garlic. You got that ginger in there, which is a nice sweet flavor mixed with the sweetness of the sauce. I mean, this is, as, this is as good as it gets, guys. This is as good as it gets. And when you sear that flank steak like that, you cook it nice and fast. It locks in all that moisture, but gives it that like nice caramelized edge. It's a real treat. And quite possibly my favorite part about this recipe is that I'm actually eating vegetables. Mom, we're eating broccoli. Making her proud. Mm. Now, M, this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, which end up with for the entire thing, is only 18 grams of fat, 56 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, seven grams of fiber, and that equals 546 calories. And although we did use a lean cut of steak for this, if you wanted to drop the calories even further, you could literally swap the steak for chicken breast. You're gonna cut those calories down, take that fat down, and you're still gonna have an amazing dish right here. I would have done the chicken and broccoli, but I figured uh, the beef was a nice change up on the channel, you know? Put some beef in there, bud. I'm being real. I really do not mind eating this broccoli. When it's covered in that sauce, I just, this broccoli is going down like a hamster at a Stuart Little convention. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's go. 
Mm. This recipe is a showstopper. As someone that loves Asian inspired food, Chinese restaurants, I mean everything about it I love, this hits on every single cylinder. The flavor, the sauce, the steak, I mean even the broccoli is getting a 10 out of 10. So if you like dishes like this, you gotta make it. Tag me on Instagram, preferably in your story. I'm gonna see it more often that way and let me know what you think. I'm telling you, take the time. Put this one together, make double, make a triple batch, use it for meal prep, you're gonna love it. I know it. And you already know if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, not only are you supporting the channel in a massive way. I appreciate you guys so much for that. But you also now have this recipe right in there. So if you want an easy guide that's right in your pocket, you can follow along while you're making it. You know what you got to buy, the ingredients, what to weigh out, everything. Then hitting that link in my description and checking this out. Hey, it'll be the best decision you ever made. Appreciate you guys. As always, don't forget about the giveaway. Like I said earlier, you got to hit the thumbs up button. You got to be subscribed to the channel and you got to comment a flavor idea for Anabars down below. You have those three things accomplished. I will pick a winner and I'll announce it in a couple videos. So appreciate you guys. Hopefully uh, the best man or woman wins that. Hey, yeah, I am uh, out of here, folks. Appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, don't you think I'm letting any of this sauce go to waste? It's that good, I'm telling you. Mm, Asian inspired.